if there's anything that you should not do in life is pretend to be an FBI agent because that can't go well for you. It's bad enough trying to be a cop because you I, I, like, what are we doing? This lady that's irate gets arrested for impersonating an FBI agent and she yells, I want my attorney. I bet you do. Let's find out how this one plays out. It's a female that Dobson's got. What's going on, Dobson? Disorderly intoxication, resist without violence. Step out of the car. I would like to have my attorney present. Nope. Step out of the car. Cooperate with the process and everything will roll smoothly. I didn't do anything that caused disorderly intoxication. She had been identifying herself as an FBI agent and accosting patrons in front of the restroom. The bouncer physically removed her from the bar, and that's when the disturbance ensued outside. And she's got charges from multiple DUIs, battery on Leo, possession of cannabis, possession of marijuana, worthless checks. 13 times that she's pretending this is the first time, the way she's been acting. Absolutely. I'm my attorney. Sit down in the great chair. All right. I'm perfectly fine. I wasn't disorderly at all. This officer um, was upset because his friend told him that he didn't want me there because I was messing with his girlfriend. Listen to him. He's going to explain to you what's going on. You had to be physically removed from the bar. No, I'm guilty of dancing with a girl that was part of the owner's group. Okay, listen to what he's going to tell you. Listen, what I need you to do is take a deep breath. Seal I did not know. This has nothing to do with driving. I wasn't this has doing nothing anything. to do with this driving. Nothing, yes. I need my attorney. We just need to know what your alcohol level is. I need my attorney. Are you going to take the test or not? I want yes my or no. attorney. Do I not have a right to an Stand attorney? Stand up. I'll be back to get uh, I would like my attorney. Walk. <laughs> this woman, OK? Obviously, you're too intoxicated right now to go through with the process. You're going to be placed in here until you can I sober up. I am not up. obviously intoxicated. Well, you I refuse. Listen. I obviously listen. want my attorney. Listen. Go down listen. Your knees. I want my attorney. Down to your knees. Go down to your knees. Go Lady, down, down, down on your knees. All I want is my attorney. On your knees. OK. Thank you. Stand All the way down. down. I got you. Good luck. There. Don't move. All I did was tell you, ma'am. No, not You're not listening. You treated me like a common criminal. You're not and listening. I had no right to my attorney. You are going to jail. <laughs> the amount of videos that I watch like this where the people are like, you didn't do this, you're going to jail. I'm suing you for everything. You're going to lose your job. And, and the times that it actually happens that way is so slim to none. But it's just crazy how as soon as people have a few drinks, they're immediately... The, the, the arbiter of the law. They know exactly what is happening. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. We are already we? here, ma'am. Guess what? You're going to hell. I got orders up the ass. That's fine. Listen to me. Bye. The handcuffs are fixing to come off. When they do, I want you to place your hands above your head. Do not get off the floor until you hear the door shut. Do you understand that? Mm. Do you understand that? Whatever. I have the right to an attorney. Her attorney's got to be tired of her, bailing her out on a regular basis. I'm coming for you. Check your feet. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. Put your hands on the counter and spread your feet. Got to search him. It's acting a little weird to me. You came in with 95? Listen. I haven't had fun yet. Stop banging on the door. Let's go. What's up? Where we going? You going to the holding cell. That's where you're going. Me and you? Oh, no, not me and you. You don't want me and you to go in there. Take your shoes off. Is this my shoes? Just your shoes. That's not all you need pants? to take off. What will you need to take off your pants? Uh, I don't know. I'm asking you. Uh, Step in know. there. Are you a Step in there. Uh, I think he's just angry being here for an open container. I guess he doesn't think that's a crime, but it is. Hang on, I'm running his get mouth it. way too much and getting me a little bit too aggravated. So he's gonna go in there and sleep it off for a while. Huh? Relax. And when he comes out, he'll be ready to go to the out. process too. One of those nights. That's interesting. When I was uh, younger, I, I may have said this story in a different video. So if you've watched it, I apologize. But 
me and a friend were walking between bars. We were young. We had chalked IDs. And I, for some reason, decided to take a sip of his beer in between the like, 10 steps away from the next bar. And obviously, you can't have an open container outside. The cops across the street saw it, came over, started to talk to us about it. He decided to mouth off, which led to them checking our IDs, rubbing off the, 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 the chalk on it, you know, because was, this was back when you just write with a little colored pencil and you could make it look a little bit different. And, you know, we got ourselves in a little bit of trouble, except it would have been fine. They actually were going to let us go from the very start if he wasn't mouthing off. So a lot of times that's what really gets people to that next stage of trouble, because there's times where the cops are going to let you go. And he ended up getting cuffed. I didn't because I acted cooperative. We got brought in and then they cuffed us like I guess maybe we're we have a jail here. They don't have a holding cell or they just didn't bother to use it. But they just put us on this bench along the wall and cuffed us to this metal pole that went down the wall and we just sat there for a little while and it, it wasn't the worst thing i guess maybe after that we were in somewhat of a holding cell like there was a it was almost like you're in one of the stores where they have the the bulletproof glass like the uh plexiglass or whatever and we had to wait for someone to come and, and take our information or do something and it was just this boxed up area and we just had to stand there for, for quite a while but a lot of times you just got to just chill out. If you just chill out, things tend to go your way a little bit more. Like I, I just, even when I'm drunk, I just don't see myself ever acting like that. It just doesn't make sense. I feel like I have enough intelligence to know that even in those situations, it just doesn't work in your favor. But some people, it just, they just go off. They just don't, they don't have that comprehension or something. He came in with an attitude problem, right off the van, the Papa Tango van that brought him in. He wouldn't comply coming into the door. He continued to run his hey, mouth. Is that yours? Take it down. Take it down. Is he trying to hurt himself? No. He's just, no, he's not suicidal. Just stand right. Give me the shirt. Give me the shirt. Give me the shirt. No, I want the one you took off. Then give me that one too. Give me the socks. Give me the other one. I don't want your clothes. Take Give me the socks. It. What else you want? Have I been telling you? No, me? you have not. You've been banging on the window calling for me. That ain't when? chilling. Just now? That ain't chilling. No, I talked to this lady and that lady, and they told me, me no understand, no stop it. What do you think, sir? You know? This is not right. You've been here an hour? You have five more to go. OK, so that's what you tell so me. So five more later, we'll talk. Oh, OK. Well, then tell me something. I, got I don't have hours. to tell you. You don't have no, to No, I don't. But you got the right to tell him something? How do you know what I talked to the man about? How the hell you don't move from here? Let's go. I'm through with, with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. What is this chair, sir? I'm done with you. What is this chair? I am done with I you. you the chair. What is this chair for? You don't want to tell him? Yeah, okay, bye bye. Man, he's just not listening. He wants things to go this way, and he's not understanding that it works our way. People are funny. This is a long video. Okay, I thought it was just gonna be about that one woman, but this is a compilation of stuff. What do we got now? Let's pop, let's percolate. This building here is our booking facility. I've worked for the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office now almost eight years. The last two years of it, I've worked booking two nights a week. I, I really enjoy it. You get to see uh, how people are when they first come into custody and what a difference it is even after 24 hours. How's it going, fellas? Just step right over here, guy. Right here, guy. Oh. What happened to you? Overdosed. Overdosed? Yeah. To wow. say the least. Well, how'd you cut your head? I don't know. You don't remember any of it? Nope. You don't remember when you were taking people with a bunch of different drugs, and most likely it was acid. They said I almost died from lack of blood, and I don't remember any of the drugs. Well, the size of that gash on your forehead, I could see what. What's your first name? Scott. That's Scott. not good. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Long time ago. All right, we're going to check oh, the inside, yeah. and we'll make a plan with you. According to the officers, he uh, was running around southeast Portland, no clothes on. He broke into a lady's house. She was home by herself. He uh, jumped through the glass door. He grabbed a stick of some sort and was hitting her with it. She was able to fight him off. Uh, neighbor saw it, came over and helped her, got him under control, and then the cops came. Uh, they took him to the hospital, had him checked out, and now he gets his, he'll spend a while in jail. So what's going on? I'm told that I heard somebody somewhere along the line or something. I don't know anything about this. 
You don't remember You're breaking into somebody's out. house, br no. jumping through a big glass door? That's how you got all the cuts, was you jumped through the door. What would possess me to do that? I ain't hurt nobody before. I'm a totally peaceful man. He said, I don't know what would possess me to do that. The acid possessed you to do that. I believe this man that he's probably peaceful and he normally wouldn't do that stuff, but sometimes these drugs, it changes things. That's why I, I, I would never, ever, ever try acid or anything like that. Personally, it's not really for me. And part of it was when I was in 12th grade, I remember my teacher gave us a story about her brother when they were younger did acid and he still is getting helped in mental hospitals and so on. It's like he never really fully came down from his trip and it just, it ruined his life. All I had to hear was that in 12th grade and became a no for me forever. Never will I ever try that drug. Everybody that knows me knows that's what I fight for. <laughs> They're ready to talk to you. Six months ago, he came in for a similar charge, and here he is a year and a half later, and uh, at least 12 counts of assault, a couple Ooh. counts of burglary and kidnapping. It's amazing how fast people spiral downhill when they're on drugs. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, this is a female that was Portland arrested her when they called in. Imagine Basically. actually not remembering it, but you're going to have charges that are going to change your life. That's... That's why you don't do that stuff. She was uh, combative. She's in the back of the car yelling and screaming. So we're going to go out and make contact with the officer and see what's uh, going on. Hi. All right, Kimberly. You realize where you are now, right? Yes, you understand you're in jail? Uh, I can be clear for a nurse. I'm standing by, but yeah, I can't stay. Okay, well, you're going to cooperate with us? The female officer's going to search you, all right? You don't have any drugs on you, do you? No contraband? You don't carry needles? I, in my purse, there's... In your I, purse, I, there's I, needles? Yeah, I'd like to know that, yes. You use them for diabetic? You use them for, inter, you use them for drugs? For drugs? What kind of drugs do you normally take? Meth. Meth? I was just going to say that. That's super unfortunate because on her face, it looks like she has a bunch of spots. And at first, I was trying to tell, like, I was like, there's no way that she has moles like that all over her face. But it's most likely scratch spots. Like you end up with like these, I, I know people call them like meth scars. I again, wouldn't know because I've never done it, but it's definitely something that I've seen before, whether it's on the face, it's on a leg, it's on your arms, it could be everywhere. Like it, it just, you'd be itching or scratching or something. I, I, I don't know the exact, I, I don't know if it's because it makes your, your body itch or just the withdrawal. You start doing it out of like anxiety, but it's super, super sad to see. I always wish everybody the best. Like I, you know, at the end of the day, I hope that she gets clean the same as anybody else in this situation. Um, but when you do some wild stuff, you have got to be held accountable. When's the last time you used meth? Just a couple hours ago? All right. So what happened with her? Her ex-husband and her were arguing. She wanted money to buy meth. Um, they got in the car. He tried to call the police a couple times on his cell phone. She took the cell phone, threw it at him, cut his eye open pretty good. So the majority of it happened while they were driving? Yeah. With two young kids in the back? Right. Nice. So here he is, he's driving your truck, he's got your two young kids in the back. Because he was threatening to take me out to Gresham. Get the hell out of me and wish I was dead. So the information that you wanted more money to buy meth, that's, that's not accurate at all? No. But you had smoked it earlier today? I shot it. You shot it, that's right. That, and he, that he gave me, but it's my choice. Okay, he gave it to you? Yeah, but it's my choice. I mean, yeah, that's... That's why I was throwing a fist. We both were wrong. And it seems like you got you got to find a new boyfriend. Are they, is he the dad of the children? But as you'll see in my record, I mean, I've been to prison. I mean, I have all, you know, violent assaults and stuff. All, 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 all revolving around drugs? Yeah. No, I feel bad for the kids. That's just one out of, I think there's... You weren't doing drugs at that time? No. Well, that's good. All right, let's go have a seat in the chairs. Wow. Two young kids in a car fighting over uh, money for meth. She ends up throwing a video game at dad, busting his eye open. She That's crazy. She gets brought to jail. She could have easily caused an accident doing that. You got your kids in the car. Kids have to see this. Like they'd probably like. That's the thing. As a kid, before you even reach a certain age, like you don't even understand life yet. And you're seeing this interaction that is just so beyond your, your actual comprehension. And it's going to mess you up forever.
it, it, it just really is. Like, I, I feel so horrible for these, these kids in situations like this. It's just not, it should never be like that. It should never be like that. As much as I hope and wish that she gets it together, her husband, all these people get it together, I don't know that they should have their kids. And I, I hate to say that because you never know where the kids end up. It doesn't mean it's going to be a great place, but I feel like it's got to be better than here. And I'd like to believe that it's going to be much better than that situation. So that's a, that's a really, really tough one. It's just so sad. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want more of these videos, long crime got some good, uh, good content. I always put a link down below. If you guys want to go show them some love, I will catch you next video. Homie.